to The boat game. Fuck, I always expect. <laughs> I kind of ex oh, yeah, my voice. <clears throat> I almost expect like the the rules to be like a separate option. Like, would you like to hear the rules? You know, they're, the completionist did a video on this game, and I was, it's like, I want to watch it, but at the same time, I didn't want to watch it, because, like, I know I'm playing this right now, so I put it off, but now that I've completed this game, including beating Bone Tail, I think I may actually go watch it, after this. Oh, I don't even have to, okay. We'll try that one more time. I don't, this one seems, is a little more difficult to me. It's mainly the, the, like the whirlpools or, what, or whatever you want to call them. Oh, fuck you. Okay. I was kind of, I was like, is it going to like drag me under and then I got to wait to resurface? Or, it just pushes you away. That one kind of did that. I think that was only a little bit faster. Well, I'm ranked now at least. All right, there's the mini. There's the little mini games. As far as I know. Thank you. And again, actually, you know, there's there's one thing I we could go ahead and cap. I don't want to say what it is yet because, frankly, I I don't think anything in this list that has changed after what I've done because, like I said, I I already went there, um, off screen, after Shadow Queen, but. Is this like, yeah, it does work. So we can go back to the moon. I guess the base didn't blow up. Maybe it did. I'm kind of curious to see. Let me go see tech. Is there like a secret? Will there be like a secret thing? I don't. Was he on the bottom floor? Mario, I am pleased uh, I could see you again. I detonated explosives after you left to ensure the base would never be used for evil. Of course, I was destroyed in the resulting explosion. But one day I regained consciousness and all, all was, all was, was as before. Yes, everything. I do not comprehend why, but as I regained consciousness, I saw a light and I thought I heard Peach's voice. How is Princess Peach? Is she happy? Then I too am happy. I continue to hope for the continued happiness of you, Peach, and all others. Okay. Just a miracle, apparently, from what I'm getting from this. This is the computer's room. This must be where Princess Peach met with Tech. That's all you have to say? You don't. You don't have anything to say about Tech himself? Oh, damn. 
Okay, well, there's our visit to tech. And besides that, I really don't think there's anything else for us to uh, do. Like, I literally think that's everything. Um, I want to say, well, I guess Perry Carey technically made a cameo at the beginning of the game. But besides Perry Carey, I think that's it. And we'll end Lady Bow, obviously. So, why don't we head back? You know what game is out today? Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm not buying it. <laughs> I am not getting that game. It's, I've never really just been into Westerns, so I will pass. But for everyone who is legitimately excited for it, you know, I'm, I hope the game's good. And I'm sure a certain YouTuber will do a review on it, and I look forward to that review. Okay, why are we going up here? So do we see, uh, like another, another visit? This crazy guy real quick. I'm just like, these are just like last minute things, you know? When the world is covered in darkness, the mustached hero will arise. He and his companions will banish the evil back to the depths of the netherworld. This is an ancient, this is an ancient legend handed down in my family. Yeah, actually I made that just up now, but it sounds pretty convincing, right? I know stuff too, seriously. Like, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Because, you know, the other basket baskets get jealous. Me, I don't even like eggs. This is a special verse for you, troll, where the cult of information heard these words. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Uh, something you want to ask of old wonky, right? If you paid me five coins, I suppose I could tell you something about Zest Dynamite. I'll pay it. You know Zest T, right? She's a really good cook on Rogue Fork's main square. Well, she has a rare recipe in her repertoire called Zest Dynamite. It's made with a coconut bomb and an egg bomb. And by the, by the way, an egg bomb is made from a fire flower and a mystic egg. And a coconut bomb is made from a fire flower and a coconut. And that's all I know because this lost the rest of the recipe somewhere. It was written down and she lost it. What a tragedy. It sure would be cool if she could make it, though. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask old wonky. Uh, something on her. If you pay me five coins, suppose I could tell you something about Boogly Woods. Deep in Boogly Woods is a spot with a bunch of tree stumps all lined up. If you jump hard on the tenth stump from the left, you'll get something good. Now, I don't know what it is, but I hear it's really good. And that is that. Is that the. I wonder if that's what I'm thinking it is. Something you want to ask. If you pay me five pounds, I suppose I could tell you something about the Mystic Bag. You know about the Pit of 100 Trials down there, right? Well, somewhere down there is an item called a Strange Sack. This item is great. I wonder if that's like in Chest 90. If you. If, oh, never mind. That's the one that gives you more items. We already got that. If you got it, you can get, hold up to 20 items. And you know what that means, my good friend? Easy adventuring. No adventure should be without one. Take it from old wonky. And that is that. The most delicious thing old wonky has ever eaten is an omelet plate. I remember having it at the hotel of, at Palsley Heights. It was made by the chef of legend, Marity Delish. Delish. I believe it was made with a mushroom and a mystic egg. Oh, just one more bite. I hear one can actually find that mystic egg near the Boogly Woods. It seems the punies are the only ones who know where to find them. And that is that. Okay. Stop doing the voice. I don't. This, 
when I go back, I don't really think this mic, like, I don't really think it makes much of a difference when I talk with a different voice in this mic. So, with this headset, so. So much for voice acting, right? The Z button, okay. Press Z when you're talking to someone. Uh, oh, yeah, that too. Tell me about honey. You've heard of star pieces, of course. Yes, they're no less than pieces of actual stars that have fallen to Earth. They're so pretty and shiny that anyone who stumbles on one turns into a collector. If you want to find some, just check out the, the nooks of each area you visit. They always seem to be slightly hidden, you know what I mean? And that is that. Battle technique. We'll do one more after this one. I hear the best way to fill your battle crowd up is su to succeed at action commands. No shit. Especially when you succeed at several in a row. Ooh, I hear that's great. Also, beating enemies quickly and striking first can build you your crowd too. That might be good to remember. And that is that. Okay, one more. You've been to Petal, Petal Meadows, haven't you? Well, they have those blue and gray striped poles called candy pops all over, right? I heard that one of those will give you a horse tail if you hit it ten times. You should go try that out sometime. And that is that. Okay. It's always fun to uh, talk to the, to the people. Let's see what you have. There you go. Here's a bunch of FP and all that battle. I'm thinking of making the the pit of 100 trials. I may make it into two videos where I get the 450 and then after 450. Mainly because because of the fact that I've already gone to 450. So it, I guess if someone watched that and doesn't want to watch me do the first four, 50 fours again, I will do a jump to um, 450 and beyond for those people. Oh, crack my knees. <laughs> well, let's have a bit of fun real quick. Probably more sound effects than those, but that's what I got. I believe I never really showed off the alternate, alternate, alternative uh, sounds, sound badges. So. Apologies if you guys uh, like that kind of stuff. I usually just like it near the normal sounds. Maybe again, if I do a a, little, a second let's play of this game sometime in the future, I will do. That. Okay, I think that's... Well, I'm kind of sad, to be honest, to be saying goodbye to this game. Because... To finally beat it for myself is really something else, you know? And to beat... Um, like, it's a bit of a bummer that I ended up losing to Shadow Queen, but... 
even then I think I gave her a good run on my first try. I managed to drag it out for quite a bit. And then for um to beat Bone Tail my first try, who's I do think he's legitimately harder than Shadow Queen. It's kinda hard because like Shadow Queen I think I would just I I don't like I definitely was kinda going at it in a bit of a, a bad way. But here like here's the thing. One major difference is while Bone Tail has his like bre uh breast attacks and whatnot and he gets to kind of just heal like he the deals were like 40, 60 HP. I don't remember exactly, but he did heal like somewhere between 40 and 60. But the thing is that Shadow Queen, she, since she has the hands and herself, she can do, it's either three, you, there's either three or two attacks going off, depending if it's like the small crowd of hands or the bigger two hands. So. And they like respawn like in each turn, so you kind of always have to deal with like three attacks going off at once. And the fact that um, she can heal herself twice if each hand is up. Then she has a really powerful move that you know you want to pretty much veil for. So I think like like I showed that if you're using Vivian in that fight, that fight is. It's not pathetically easy by any means, but it is a lot easier than trying to use Bobbery or uh, your Yoshi or whoever else. Like, granted, I didn't try it with everyone, but I definitely think Vivian is the way to roll in that fight. No doubt in my mind. Because then you don't have to worry about switching out her just to Veil. And her Fury Jinx is amazing. So. Yeah, it's... It's been a long adventure. It's, this is going to be somewhere over somewhere over 110 parts of it. I might actually, I don't know, because depending on how I cut this stuff up, it might not go over 120. Because I would like to kind of keep the pit of 100 trials, which was the bulk of this recording session, uh, into two videos. So that that could be like somewhere from I'm going to say like seven to ten videos if it if it was just the regular 20 minute videos, but I'd like to split that into uh, two separate ways I usually do it, so. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I need to stop rambling because otherwise this will never end. I'm just kind of sad to be finished this game. I mean, yeah, there's other stuff I can do, but I don't think it's really worth recording, so. If you guys want to find all the shine sprites or all that jazz, you know, you're gonna have to do that on your own time. Do that, like, you know, look up a video that's just for that, but I never said this was gonna be a 100% run. In fact, I think I said that from the beginning that it would not be a 100% run, so. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, ciao for now. Bye.